Hey guys, Tammy Trier, Mountain Woman Journals at TrierWilderness.com, and I am here with the mountain man. Yes, he does live. He is alive. He is back, I'm going to say, because we've been talking about this big Howdy. project that he's been working on, and we'll be sharing more on that later, but um, we are actually in the kitchen today. He is helping me in the kitchen, so <laughs> um, <laughs> we were out today, that's why we're we're a little not right today. We actually had to leave the wilderness and left early. Um, we went over an hour and picked up 80 pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And we thought we would share this process with you because this is something that you too can get involved in and uh, get your meats cheaper, fresh from the farm, and um, be able to fill your freezer, fill your canning shelves. So. Um, Bear with us here. We're going to uh, turn the camera off, flip it around, and show you what we got. All right, so this is what you get. Um, this is pretty much done here. I've been cooking it here for a little bit. Um, but I just wanted to show you here the how, how much meat you get with one of these. This is... Uh, two whole chickens, just the breast, and uh, a half. So I wanted to show you here how much, that's a chicken breast right there. <laughs> now that's, that's how they should look. Put your finger up next okay, to the here's, side of it. It's about two inches thick. Yeah, look at that. That's, I mean, obviously on the top side, but um, even, even down so, here it's, yeah. it's an inch and a half thick. I mean that's that's how you should get it. You know, you go to the store and uh you go to the store and it's it's you get these small little chicken breasts, it's ridiculous. And you pay <laughs> out the nose for it. Um Yeah, this so is really impressive. <laughs> I am definitely impressed with uh how much meat you get um when you purchase these. Yeah. Without a doubt. Without yeah. a doubt. Yeah, for sure. So hang on. We're going to spin this around again, and we'll show you actually how it comes and share a little bit more of the process with you. So hang on here. Um, stay tuned here a second. <laughs> Get out of the supper. <laughs> All right, so uh, getting ready to tear into this. I'm going to open it up and show you what, uh, what you get with uh, the bags what they come in they come in a box and uh, the bags are inside the box they just put them in the cooler here to keep them cool for the day um, but I'm gonna show you here what uh, how this comes and it's not frozen this is no. fresh from this is fresh fresh stuff yeah this is not by any means frozen uh, something you get it out of the store or something in the freezer so this is what you get right there that's 40 pounds of chicken. <laughs> Woohoo! That's good stuff right there. That's, that's a lot of chicken. So we're going to cut this open. And I'm liking this because it supplements our elk and venison. And we did not get an elk this year, so it will be fully venison this year. Um, it's been just too, too crazy for us. Um, the mountain man just finished his huge project, which we will be sharing with you. But... Um, it's nice to have the chicken. We do have chickens, but we have laying chickens. Uh, occasionally we will um, eat one of them. Um, we've eaten the roosters already because we just ended up with more roosters than we anticipated because um, we bought the young chicks. So um, so we just have the chickens for eggs. So this is an awesome, awesome... So inside fun. here they have four bags which are roughly wow. probably imagine 10 pounds a piece yeah. um, but that's I mean right there look at that big big chicken I breast. mean that's I mean you can't look at that wow <laughs> right there look at that and that's a big bird that's that's awesome right there <laughs> that's how it should be when you buy your chicken at the store that's the way it should be None of this skimpy little stuff that you get at the store. Good grief. Yeah. Stinking steal your money from you. You don't get nothing. <laughs> this is how it should be. 
Plus, well, you, don't, you don't have to worry about the hormones yeah. and all the other things that are being added to our meats. This comes right from the farm. That's one chicken right there. That's nice. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, that's, that's incredible. Real nice. Real nice. Now, um, we are just going to put these in gallon bags, and we're going to uh, freeze them. But um, we may also end up having to uh, can some of it, um, dice it up, you know, cook it up, can it, and that way you can just pull the chicken right off the shelves and eat it just like you would a can of chicken from the grocery store, only it's so much better. You can get your broth, you know, make your broth, uh, you can take, all kinds take of that, stuff. Yeah, take that then and, and uh, you know, pull off the shelf, make some homemade chicken soup, good stuff. Yeah. You know, I mean, that, that's, that's awesome. And you can even do that as well. Uh, for those of you that aren't real big or, or new to canning, you can make your chicken noodle soup and, and can it and put it right on your shelf. And let me tell you, it is so nice in the winter months and so rewarding to pull those jars off your shelf and have them handy to just, you know, instead of pulling a can off, you've got your own handmade, homemade uh, treasures, you know. So Stuff you, It's also more uh, rewarding. You know, when you uh, pull the stuff off the shelf that you put up yourself, yeah. it's more rewarding for for you, yeah. too, you know, other than, you know, you go to the store and buy it, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, for sure. Anybody can do it, you know, no big deal. But when you put it up yourself and do the work yourself, everything is more rewarding. And Sit we down and have a good meal. Yeah. The stuff you put up. It's the best. Yeah, it's awesome. And we do it as a family most of the time. Um, if the mountain man's out busy outside, the mountain boy and I are in canning. and, and But we all take a, a place in it, And uh, as you've seen in many of our canning videos. But I'm going to spin this around quick, and uh, we'll share some more with you. <laughs> okay. Now, about the process, it was really easy. Um, and it's like this in um, all the different communities and where they have these different events is that you pull into a very large parking lot. They have cones set up. I'll put pictures in here that you can see what it looked like. But you pull into a, a very large parking lot where there's cones. They have an entrance and an exit and you pull up next to the semi and they unload the chicken right into your vehicle. Now we got out because we were doing um, some photos and different things because I wanted to really review this process for um, the company. and. Um, um, but typically, you don't have to get out of your car. You just pull up. You, you have placed your order already online, and you pull up to the drop spot, the day of the drop spot. There's a certain period of time. We had, I think, 7.30 to 9.30 that we could arrive and pick up our chicken. So it was really simple, really easy. Um, very, very it, simple. It took us, what, maybe three minutes tops? Uh, yeah, and that was with us taking, you know, pictures, taking and pictures and stuff. You know, it's definitely, definitely quick. Easy in and out, you know. Very organized. Your stuff. Yeah. Very organized, and um, the company is out of Spokane, Washington. Um, but like I said, it's, it, this is all over the country that they have the varying spots, so you can go to their website and check it out. Um, you use the link at the bottom of the video here. Uh, the company is Zacon Foods, and um, use the link at the bottom of the video for easy access and check out the show notes here, the video notes. Um, for the link on our website for complete details on how the company works and um, information, um, really, I highly suggest it and can't suggest it more. I, I'm really impressed by the quality of the meat Definitely. that you get. Definitely. Check them out. So stay tuned for more videos. We've been a little lax in the videos. It has been insane here. He will be sharing his next video on his big project. It has been um, grueling, would you say? To say the least. <laughs> it's been something. It was going on from, what, April till uh, yeah. a week ago, which would have been mid-October. Yeah. yeah, it's been going on for a long time. So A long time. Very. It's uh, very uh, good to have it over with. <laughs> but at the same time, it was a very amazing project. Yeah. Um, I think we made some dreams come true um, for some friends of ours. And uh, he does amazing work. Wait do you see this upcoming video. I'm very proud of him. I'm very blessed to have him and just stay tuned. We've got more coming and a lot coming this winter for you. So um, just thanks for following us. Be sure to check out our website at treyourwilderness.com and uh, thanks so much for following us. God bless. God bless.